Ladies and gentlemen, today we've got an exciting coach to show you. This is a 2015 Liberty Coach, and today I'm here with Frank Connick Setter from Liberty Coach. What are yeah. we looking at, sir? This is a uh, 2015 triple slide. This coach has 59,000 miles on it. It's uh, on our website as coach number 867B. Coach has got a great interior. It's got a great paint job on the outside, real dynamic. I don't know that there's anything that that's not perfect on this. This thing has had two very meticulous owners on it, and so we're real proud to have it. Dean Lauk's here, everybody. Nice to see you again. Andrew, thanks for having us sponsor today's video. My newest series of paintings is called Turtle Mode. You hear about them being endangered and they're protected, and when you fall in love with something, and you know it's made for you, and then you really want to push the limits and make it better and better. That's where I'm at. I'm slowing down and just focusing on something that means a lot to me right now. If you'd like to buy a painting, contact 574-522-8838 and the shop will get you in touch with me and I'd love to talk to you personally about it. First bay is completely open. It's a uh, slide out tray, which we manufacture. And is that light always on or did that come on? No, it comes on when the bay is open. So awesome. Yeah, as soon as the bay is open, it goes on, goes off, just like the refrigerator. Second bay here, we've got another rollout tray, three quarter inch depth or three quarter uh, depth as well. And then we have a uh, 65 inch. Actually, it's a 60 inch. 60 inch, awesome. And, and I've got to just point out how effortless and smooth that came in and out. Um, you can tell that this is really the highest level of engineering that goes into these systems. Um, is this uh, is this something that Liberty Coach yeah. does or? This is our own, we make this, we manufacture this. We also, because you never know what your conditions are gonna be outside, if it's gonna be windy or not. So we've got different positions that you can lock this in as well. And again, as you pointed out, very easy in and out. And because of the way that it's designed, it only takes up approximately five inches of your bay width. So you haven't lost a whole bay for the TV. More storage here. I've got, I'm just yeah, curious. Sure. I've got to open it up. Some more, more drawers. Here. Yep. Completely finished out every square inch. Right, everything in a Liberty Coach is going to be finished. Whatever you can open up and whatever you can see is gonna be finished. Third bay, refrigerator here. These are drawers for storage. Again, everything is all finished. Nothing that you can cut yourself on. Everything is all smooth. Now, is this a real carbon fiber? Is that a carbon fiber it's face? A, it's a carbon fiber print, yep. Okay. We have a storage here for grill. Canyon International is what we use. Again, more storage. Fourth bay passenger side, again, additional storage. More drawers. Behind here is the DEF tank. And then your fuel tank on the Prevo is actually in the center of the third bay. We carry 238 gallon of fuel on the Prevo H345. Nice. Coming here to the fifth bay. This is our water system. 20 gallon water heater. Culligan reverse osmosis filtration system which goes to the refrigerator for the ice maker. We also do a tankless water heater which goes specifically to the shower valve. Since 2015 and newer, we've done this tankless system as an emergency backup for the shower. In case you run out of hot water, you would have instant hot water at 104 degrees from this tankless system. Water filtration here, water pump, everything is easy to get to. Water heater is a 20 gallon unit. Uh, fresh water tank is stainless steel. Holding tank next to it is aluminum. Those tanks go completely straddle the entire width of the coach. So you've got approximately 180 gallons of fresh water and 180 gallons of your holding capacity. You can dump the coach from both sides on the holding tank. We have air operated dump valves. You can do it from both sides. You can fill the fresh water from both sides as well. We do this as a convenience 
for the owner, depending on what side of the coach is easier. Uh, Frank was just mentioning every square inch is finished out. I've got to point out that even the ghosting in this paint job comes around the corners and the edges of even the basement bays. So it would have been very easy to leave that a different color, but they literally wrap the ghosting around on this little edge. Talk about every detail. The uh, rear engine, we've got a stainless steel storage box that we manufacture. Good place to store hoses, oil, anything like that back here. We have the ability to hook up a trailer for electric on your, uh, say a stacker trailer, you want to run air conditioning, what have you on that, you can hook that up right here while you're parked. Uh, we also have an input here for shore power, so if something happens on the cord reel on the other side, you need to hook shore power up, you can come with a cord and get power into the coach. These are things that we do that nobody else does or nobody else thinks about doing. The stainless steel trim on the back of the coach, we manufacture that in-house. So that's all put on and applied uh, at, the, at the factory. We try and clean up the back end of the coach as well so you don't see all the mess. It's not really a mess, but all the beams and what have you, those smaller pieces of stainless are hinged and they have a, uh, a trim around it so it doesn't upset cords to plug in trailer lighting or for air hoses for uh, car braking systems or trailer braking systems. Most of the uh, mud flaps that you'll see on the back of coaches are hung by chains. We don't do that because of the fact that we engineered the flap on the back to be the correct height to be able to allow the heat to still come out from the main engine. This is why the other ones that you see may be on chains so that they can keep the heat out otherwise they overheat the coach. Pretty notable here for Liberty Coach. It's something that we've done for 20 plus years. It is our stainless steel and copper treatment here in the in the uh, fifth bay on the driver's side water compartment. So this is where you're pretty much always doing your business because that's where all the stuff is is on the driver's side at the resorts. So we want we want, we want that to look as good as we can. Again, this is a coach that's six years old in production and you can see how well that the copper and the stainless steel has been maintained without doing much maintenance to it at all. You can see coaches that are 20 years old, it'll look the same. You can see it in here as well. You saw it in the other bay. One thing about what we do at Liberty Coach is label everything. I mean, we label it all. So if you're calling in for something, we can direct you to a specific area. There's no question as far as what it is. It's got a label on it and we'll direct you right to that. Or if you just forget how to use the coach. I mean, not everybody uses the coach every day, 365 days. They may only use it a couple months of the year. So the labels are an aid as far as that goes as well. This bay here is gonna be our electrical bay. We've got some of the Moritz Octoplex system here. We've got breakers for the different DC loads. We have contactors and breakers for the different batteries. This is the lithium ion battery system from Masterbolt. One thing that is very nice about this is that if you get into a situation where you have a battery that is getting out of line or is not wanting to play friendly, as opposed to your AGM batteries or your gel batteries, if you have one battery go out in the unit, it takes the whole system down. If you have a battery that doesn't play friendly here, that battery can be switched out because each one of these batteries is 24 volt. You could actually have two of them switched off and you still have one battery that can run the entire coach. Now, of course, it's not gonna last very long if you're dry camp, but at least you have power in the coach. Again, it's redundancy. Liberty Coach does a significant amount of redundancy. This would be our generator bay. So we're on the third bay driver's side. Got a 20 kW Kohler generator unit here on a slide out tray mounted on an airbag suspension. Uh, I designed this system when I was in college in 1981. It was the first of its kind and became standard on every coach that we ever built. The airbag suspension, each airbag is sized per its load capacity so you only have to have a set amount of air pressure a centralized air pressure system 
for each bag as opposed to how they used to be done years ago by other converters you had to pump each bag up individually i thought that was kind of silly so did it all as far as one system to get all the airbags at the same pressure and thus having the quietest and most vibration free uh, installation in the industry and the best looking generator uh, cover in the industry as well <laughs> Second bay on the driver's side, this is kind of the electrical business part of the coach. Our transfer switch here for going from generator to shore power to inverter power is located in that stainless steel box. The Moritz Octoplex system has its own individual boxes that the electronic circuit breakers are located in. So each one of those boxes has its own breaker for its power supply going to it, which is all centrally located here makes it easier to troubleshoot once again. Our main generator controller for starting and stopping the generators here, the generator auto start, which we developed the automatic starting system on the generator back in 1984. That was the first of its kind done to measure the battery voltage. And as the battery voltage goes down, the generator starts. Well, now when you go into lithium ion technology, which is one of the reasons why the other converters out there don't do it, or other RV manufacturers don't do it, is because the science of starting the generator completely changed. So you have to be very cognizant of what's called state of charge and not so much voltage. So if you look at voltage, lithium ion technology goes very, very flat and then it falls off the cliff. You can't ever catch the generator starting when it gets to this point falling off the cliff. It has to be done through state of charge, which is a completely different science in starting the generator. So we had to redevelop all of that and then again redeveloped it again with the Volta system, the 58 volt Volta system that we use today. First bay on the driver's side, and again, we're completely open here, so lots of storage. And is there a reasoning that you've got these and it's all stainless? I've seen it in other coaches where it's not as finished out. Um, is, the, is that part of, is that part of the, the Prevo shell? Yeah. So and a lot of people say when you get down and look in the bays of a coach, Liberty coach, it looks like a Rolex watch because we finish everything. So those gussets that are in there came to us on the Prevo chassis starting on model year 2008. This eliminated the need for the pins that you'd see on some of the other slide rooms. It eliminated those pins to strengthen this whole section underneath. So those gussets are actually apparent in every bay as you go down through the driver's side of the coach. If you had a quad slide coach, you'd see them on the other side as well. So to make it look a lot better, we encase them in stainless steel. And Andrew, you know, you've talked to me about drive and ride. You've talked to customers about it as well. We've touched on it, you know, kind of heavily in other videos. When we talk about balancing out the coach, you've seen plenty of coaches that are out there. You've been through plenty of bays. I think you can agree when you look at a Liberty coach, the first two bays are pretty light. There's nothing in them, okay? Again, you have more tires on the back of the coach, so that's where the weight should go. You have less up here, so we need to keep this as light as we can to keep that front end feeling good when you're going down the road as opposed to it pushing you when you're trying to make the high speed turns or even just turning around in a parking lot. I'm excited to see the interior of this coach. I definitely learned a lot about the bays there, but this is, this is exciting to see here. This again is a 2015. It's got about 59,000 miles on it. It's had two owners, meticulous owners. The coach is in a gray tone, if you will, throughout, which is pretty popular coming back. You know, again, this was already done, if you will, six years ago, but uh, it's starting to have a resurgence, if you will. So it's, uh, it's, it's a really cool looking interior, very well maintained. Uh, it's a triple slide, two of the standard size Prevo slides in the rear, one slide up front. It has our rear shower arrangement in the back, which is 
really oversized. So we can take a look at that when you get back through there. The coach has set up here for a Keurig coffee maker. The last owner didn't want that, but we're all set to put it back in there. Should they desire a Mealy microwave uh, oven and convection oven. There's a Gaggano cooktop as well. Trash drawer, always like to show that. Uh, paper towel holder up here, concealed. We've done that for many, many years. It keeps the countertop, you know, clean. This probably is one of the most popular things that Liberty Coach has done going back to 2007, six and seven, if you will, even 2005, I guess, uh, is the bar top arrangement. Um, we keep getting so many compliments on that through the years. Uh, we still do L-shaped booths if somebody wants it, but this definitely has been more popular. This coach actually had a change out in the couch. This is a convertible sofa with an air mattress. So this comes all the way out to be uh, like a queen size bed essentially. One thing that I want to point out about this coach is it uses the grays, but in a, a warm way. A lot of times when you see a coach with the grays and the light colors, it's more of a sterile cold feel. This has got just a very warm design to it still. Uh, really, a, really a great job by your design team. Thank you. Pantry style refrigerator with two free, uh, freezer drawers below. And then uh, big pantry, big, big pantry. And I love that how much light, not only is it lit, but this is very, very bright. So you can really see everything you're getting into. And even the carpet is a high-end carpet. That's not regular carpet. You can see the pattern within the carpet as well. And like I said, just very bright. As our people call it, the Jack and Jill bathroom, where you've got the uh, dual entry front and rear. So if you have the hallway closed down, you still have access to the toilet room forward and aft. This is all solid. You know, that's one thing that Liberty Coach does. We don't cheapen anything up as far as that goes. This is all solid. So when you're going down the road, this thing's not sitting here rattling going down the road. Everything is all nice and solid. Yeah, and the finishes, you know, the camera isn't able to pick up these finishes from a, like the human eye can, but you can see there's a texture here, as well as a texture even within the wood and the door. And even on the inside of this door, it's got a very cool design just to break it up and just give it a, that over the top look. bedroom back here two standard size length prevo slides back here that are pushed forward the enormous amount of window i mean that's something that you don't see by others either they'll cover up the windows because it's more expensive i mean think about it how much is a blind how much is the lighting how much does it cost to keep you know the the manufacturing of keeping the window open as opposed to just putting a blank panel over it so lots of window arrangement in the coach both sides this head of the bed and the foot of the bed one thing that's really cool about this, you get up in the morning, you don't know what the weather is, you can peek open the blind and you can see what the weather's like outside. Absolutely. So rear shower, this has yeah. become a very popular floor plan. Big popular floor plan. Vanity, how this all flows together. You know, it's you can't, the way that my brother designs things is he designs it to the end difficulty okay as opposed to just doing it very simple you can't tell here where the slide room starts and ends i mean you know it all flows very nicely you yeah. utilize the most amount of space as possible same with the floor i mean the floor follows the cabinet design follows the ceiling design would it be easier to make it straight of course it would be what's the fun in that <laughs> so do you guys do anything um you know the finishes and the in the the bathroom is there anything over the top yeah. basically what we do is on the showers the shower is very important to us we've been through this for so many years we don't have rot okay because we don't use plywood back there we use rock board so we have rock board that's attached and sealed to the shower walls the shower pan is not fiberglass it is a stainless steel pan that is mudded, cement, concrete, whatever you want to call it, and the tile is put down on that. So we don't have any issues as far as coming back on a coach that's 15 or 20 years old and having the shower falling apart because of 
rot, if you will. You do not list your prices on the internet. Is there a reasoning for that? Yeah, when we get into some of you that have looked at our website, like a lot of people look at the website multiple times a day, you will see us put some pricing on. If we have a special going on or we're needing to move a few things around, you will see us do some pricing. But for the most part, we don't do pricing. The reason being is being in this industry for so many years, a Prevo is not a Prevo is not a Prevo is not a Prevo. We don't want to lose somebody that can buy a Liberty Coach or would buy a Liberty Coach just by putting a generic price on there and they're price shopping all the other Prevos that are out there. Everybody would like to buy a Liberty at some other manufacturer's price point, but that's not what Liberty Coach is. We build a Liberty Coach. We don't build anybody else's coach. So our price point is more expensive. We're not, we don't want to miss the opportunity of taking a customer, potential customer, through the coach, holding their hand, showing them all the different aspects of a Liberty coach as far as the justification of the price. If too many times you see the price, boom, you're on the next coach, you're on the next one, and you're missing what the point really at the end of the day. So if I'm hearing you right, you know, if someone is, if their main concern is price, Liberty Coach is not the right coach for them. If their main concern is having the nicest coach, correct, you're the right person to call. Right. We are not a price point coach. That's not how we're built. So if someone is a little more concerned about price, you do carry Emerald Coach. Right. On the Emerald Coach line, it is not to compete with Liberty Coach. It is out there to compete with the Class A business and above on that part of it so that you're going to have customers out there that don't want to buy something used but they want to have the latest g -Wiz stuff that's out there that's the emerald and it's at a great price point for that it's opened up a number of people's eyes on liberty coach we've had a number of people that have bought emeralds that have then traded to liberty coaches which it's done exactly what i thought it would do so it's it's a great coach as well. That may be some future videos with yeah. Frank. They just sold their 2020, or is, it, is that sold? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they just sold their 2020 Emerald. I was gonna try to film that one today, but they move quickly. You, you gotta buy them while they're, uh, while they're around because these coaches do not stick around for long. It's not a museum. <laughs> well, <laughs> but it is an art gallery if you want to look at Dean's painting, so. Frank, I can't thank you enough for taking the time to show me and the folks on YouTube this incredible 2015 Liberty Coach if someone is a serious buyer, who should they get a hold of? Well, they can get a hold of Liberty Coach via the website, libertycoach.com. You can look through there. All of our salespeople are listed, their pictures, their cell phone numbers, their email addresses. You can generically email coachsales at libertycoach.com. You can also call us 800-554-9877. Be more than happy to talk to you about anything that we have, anything that we've got going on. We appreciate all of you watching today's video and make sure to check out Liberty Coach's YouTube channel as well. I'll leave a link in the description below. Frank's been doing a lot of walkthroughs on a lot of these coaches, so definitely worth checking out. Greatly appreciate all of you and I hope you're all having a great day. Thanks again. Thank you guys. Appreciate it.